Okay. Hey guys, how are you? Lovely Sunday uh, here in Safari, and we are um, Sunday afternoon. Okay, I promise you, I'm going to talk to you about cost, the real everyday cost. Now, I'm going to give you an example our cost here in Safari. Now, please remember, we are a running business. We have around four to five people a day to support food and whatever, all the utilities and all the stuff. Okay, I'm going to include everything step by step. And I'm gonna write it down here so you can see clearly then we're gonna calculate it so you can have a very good idea the first thing I want to start is we, are, we, we we don't have rent okay we don't have rent because we bought the land and then we constructed this whole place and we imported you know we uh, imported the power electricity water everything okay so everything is constructed from the ground up I'm gonna discuss all those costs so you can understand what I'm talking about First, of course, is the cost of the land. Cost of the land was uh, we paid about a hundred thousand, and it's around about minus plus minus two hundred square meter, maybe a little bit one hundred and eighty to two hundred square meter. Okay, but we also built up. We have about three floors, three stories, ground, middle, and up. So you can you can utilize your land. So you can say a hundred and fifty or two hundred square meter. You can basically turn that into. 400 or let's say 500 square meter by building up okay so that was a hundred thousand then construction cost construction cost I will discuss with you in detail at the end but um, I'm just gonna put a, you know including labor including water power wood amakan nipa you know the roof everything everything the, the I'm gonna discuss it in detail but I'm gonna put a figure on it of let's say uh, 1 million peso 1 million peso construction that means land and uh, construction, labor, everything. Then you have you, you spend about let's say one million peso, which is 20, let's say twenty thousand US, twenty k USD, twenty k USD. You have your own place constructed, okay? Furnished. Uh, the furnishings um, can be included here, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, you know like the tables. We make the tables, we make the beds, we make the chairs. You have to buy the wood, you get a carpenter, all of that. Uh, electrical appliances, you need a stove, uh, you can have a gas stove, you can have a fridge, freezer, TV. Uh, you can have all this stuff. I'm gonna discuss that with you in a moment. But, uh, so, okay, yeah, let's look at it. Electrical appliance, okay, TV. TV, we paid about 14K, this is peso, okay? Fridge, fridge is about 20k, 20k. Uh, stove, fans, everything. Um, let's just say about a hundred thousand, okay? Hundred. Let's say total is a hundred thousand peso, hundred thousand, okay? So now we have a hundred thousand for the land, one million for construction, a hundred thousand for your for your electrical stuff, your fridge, your freezer, your stove, your fans, your TV. Uh, your blender, your kettle, all your uh, washing machine. Actually, it's less than that, but we're gonna say a hundred thousand, okay? Because you can also buy it um, and pay it off. Sometimes six months, sometimes one year, sometimes you know whatever. You have to negotiate. That's why you need a good partner. A good partner. Remember. Okay, let's let's go on. Uh, transport. This is also including your furnishing in a hundred thousand. So your tables and stuff. Uh, transportation. Occasionally we will take a tri tricycle or a bus or a van to go to San Francisco or Butuan or sometimes Davao, which is our biggest cost. You know, it's very hard to say, but I will calculate that on around about 500, 500 pesos a month. So let's say 500 per month. Okay, motorbike. Uh, I bought two motorbikes. The one cost uh, me 45,000. One was 45k, the other one was 15k. So that's that is 60. So typically you can say 60k for your motorbike. Again, you can buy it uh, over you know one year, two years, or three or three years. See, so you, you know that'll if you buy it cash, it's the cheapest, right? Or buy second hand, a good second hand. This one is second hand, of course, very good bike, very old but very nice. Petrol. You know, that depends on yourself, but you know, we go shopping every day, we go there, go there, but it's around about 30 pesos per liter. I calculate, we spend, let's say, 500. 
per month. So your transport with buses, trikes, and, and, and motorbike is around about 1,000. Okay. Now every day we have to go shopping for you know vegetables, meat. So every day we buy vegetables. Uh, we spend about 1,000. That, that is a vegetable, eggs. Uh, we buy one tray, 24 eggs. Uh, 24 eggs. Uh, fruit, because remember we have a restaurant, so we spend about a thousand per day. Then we also buy meat. Meat, meat is around about how much? Five hundred. Another five hundred per day. So that that brings us to one thousand. Let's just say one thousand five hundred per day. Okay. That is, in, that is for the restaurant, but we also eat from the restaurant, okay? So I calculate our personal, because we are, let's say, five people, five people eating from the restaurant every day, three meals. So that brings us, the personal cost is going to be around about, you know, let's say, it's, it's around about, we calculate 9,000, 9,000 per month, per month for food, okay? 9,000 per month for food. That's for five people, for five people. Okay, then we come, uh, let's turn this around. We, we come to uh, utilities. Utilities, which include water. Water, you have uh, water for drinking. Drinking, you buy the canister. We buy one, uh, it's 20 pesos per, per canister. We need maybe three a week. So I, I, I think we, I calculate that around um, drinking water, let's say 400 per week? No, no, per month, per month. Then uh, you have your uh, running water, washing dishes, a shower, that's about 1,500 per month. So this is for washing shower, this is for drinking. Let's just say, let's just make it 2,000, okay? Let's just make this 2K, 2,000 per month. For power, we, we spend around about 2,500 per month. Gas, we spend around about 1,000 because we keep cooking. We cook a lot. We have to cook for the gas. Our Wi-Fi is, is kind of expensive also. We spend around about 2,500. TV cable is like 150. Mobile is another, let's say, 500. Okay. So there you go. This is our utilities in a month. Tax. We also have to pay tax because we're a running business, okay? So our taxes run about, it's hard to say, depending on the month, but, you know, if we pay, let's say, per year, we, we try and stay in the lower tax bracket, so three to five thousand, you know, which is hard to say right now, but let's say three K to five K per annum per year. Then we also have salaries. We have maybe once or twice a week, three times a week. We have cleaners, helpers, maintenance, uh, some you know people, whatever. So we calculate that to run about for let's say five thousand, five thousand per month. This is per month. That that includes uh, maintenance. Maintenance meaning like painting, like uh, varnishing, like things breaking down. You have another, let's say, 1K. Uh, is it 1K? 1K a month. Then I have my visa, which is uh, 1,800 per two months. Two months. Okay, so that's 900 per month. The visa is 900 per month. Okay, so this, um, this is more or less our... Okay, let's quickly calculate this, okay, very roughly. Okay, I'm just going to do it quickly in my head. You can follow me, my, my maps. Are, okay, so we come, water and uh, drinking water is 2,000, power is, it's four, so we come up to four, five, 4.5, 5.5, 5 .5, 6, 7, 8. Let's, uh, let's say, let's say 9,000, okay, let's come to 9, 9,000 for your utilities, your power, water, gas, everything, okay? Uh, then if you put in tax, that's per year, so let's break it down to per month, you're going to have like around about 100, 500, 300, let's say 300 per month, 300 per month, 
your salary is 5k per month so that's uh, that is 5300 plus maintenance is uh, 6300 visa is 900 7300 7000 okay let's just make it 7k taxes salaries maintenance visa around about 7k okay now we already have 16k here in total right uh, 16k we turn it around we we'll write it down here. We have the 16. We have the 16k. Okay, from the previous page, 16k. Now we add on. We add on. Um, we add on transportation, motorbike. Oh, motorbike is already paid. So petrol. This is another thousand. Okay, now we come up to 17,000. 17. Daily supplies. So we're gonna just do personal here. Let's do 9,000. So now we're up to 26,000, 26,000. So basically, our basic running cost per month is 26,000, okay? 26,000, give and take. Um, now the rest is business cost. From this cost, we make some money. So the whole idea in one month is to make 26,000 profit. If you have 26,000 profit, your Running cost is zero, right? So, so your setup cost. Remember your. So basically, what you want to do is you want to set. You want to. You want to. You want to give yourself twenty thousand US dollar or about uh, one million peso to buy land and to build your place exactly what the way you want it. Okay, that is your investment. So let's look at your uh, construction costs. Your construction cost. Uh, which I'm going to break down for you here quickly so that you have an idea how you can construct your own place, okay? Construction costs, you're going to need architect plan. Architect plan is like around about 3, 3K, okay? Then if you buy the NIPA for the roof, can you point up there to the roof? Uh, NIPA, that is like uh, 1,000 1, for 100 pads. Amakan is around about how much? How much is Amakan? 150. 150 per pad. So Amakan is about 150 per pad. I think that's like about one meter by two meter or one meter by three meter. Wood is more expensive. Wood you pay per foot. It can be like 20 peso per foot. Um, so that's like 20 peso per foot. Okay. Then you have to buy your toilets. Toilets, you know, depending on you want a big one, a small one, a, you know, a fancy one, a simple one. Tiles, broken tiles, we call it broken tiles, is around about 50 per sack. It's broken tile, water pipes, electric pipes, fans. You can buy a fan for 500 peso at the Chinese, or you can buy it for four to 5,000 at the Korean or whatever. Uh, then you have your labor cost. Labor cost for a master. For a master is around about 500 per day. For a laborer, labor, laborer is around about 300 per day. So, and you also have to feed them, right? So per month, if you have, let's say you have, you need about three laborers, one master, uh, plus food. For one month, you're looking at about 50,000, 50,000. Let's say times two, because I think you need about two months to construct a place like this. You know, digging toilets. We have four toilets and we have two kitchens. We have five uh, five bedrooms. We have this huge area out here. We have the, you know, the whole thing. So you construct this whole, and we have rooms downstairs and, and so on, okay? So, so you need about 100,000 cost. That, that's included in your one million. We include already in your one million construction cost. You will, you, all of this basically is included in your one million up front, remember? So I just want to tell you that's how it works. And then you need a business permit and, a, and licensing. That will cost you around about 5,000. No more. Five, 6,000? No, 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 no. Huh? For, for business permit and yeah. then the licensing, you need to spend like 15. 15, right? For the whole year. Oh, for the whole year. Okay, 15k per year. 
then you have a legal running business. Um, but the initial setup cost is how much to get the thing running? Five. Five thousand. Mm -hmm. And it'll take one day or one week? Maximum of five days. Maximum five days, but it can be one or two days as well. Right? Yeah. So one two, let's say one week, you can get your whole business set up for initial cost is like 5,000 pesos. Every year I t I'm telling you it's in pesos, okay? No, don't think it's US dollars, it's in pesos. So you can uh, remember one dollar is 50 peso. One, one US dollar equal five zero Filipino peso. So if I tell you the business permit is 15,000 per year, oh no, no, the business permit is 5,000, you have to calculate uh, how much is that? That's uh, 100 US dollar, okay? 15,000 running uh, throughout the year with taxes, with per, um, what else? All that stuff is like 300 US dollar. Now, the other question that people ask me is uh, medical expenses. Uh, you can buy medical insurance here at Filipino Health. I think it's 18,000 per year, so it's like 350 US dollar if you want to add that on. So. Let's say you add that on, 350, uh, let's say 18,000, uh, one and a half thousand peso. Remember our, our um, original running cost is 20, 27, 26,000. We say that our, our monthly, our monthly bill is 26,000, you plus your uh, medical, then you're looking at 27, 28, let's say 28,000, okay? Okay, let's just make it a nice round figure of 30,000 peso, which is, which is a thousand, uh, which is five, six, six hundred. Oh my God, my math is so bad. It's, it's anyway, it is like 600 US dollar. So you're looking at about 600 US dollar to run a whole business like this with five people, okay? A restaurant, uh, uh, in, an inn, inn with four rooms, a restaurant good for 30 to 50 people, 30? 30 to 50 people, if, depending on how you squeeze them in, with all your goodies, Wi-Fi, your cable TV, your water, gas, running costs, petrol, everything, okay? So, so setup costs, land, motorbikes, building costs, 1 million pesos, 20,000 US dollar, is it? No. 10,000, no, 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 it's 50. Yeah, 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 20,000 uh, 20, US dollar, you set up, then you have a running cost of 30,000 peso, uh, about 600 US dollar per month. Okay, does it make sense? So please remember now, 20K USD, you can set up, running cost, 500 to 600 USD, okay? 20,000 US dollars to set yourself up, get yourself legally established, have a legal business. So the most important thing here now, remember, is your partner. You need the right partner, okay? Somebody will, you don't have to get somebody as a genius or, or, or a liar or whatever. You can get a, get yourself a, a decent, honest person, very honest, that's most important. Somebody you can trust and you can teach them. But of course, a lot of these partners here are already, they have studied, they're not stupid, but you can still teach them more and then you form a partnership, okay? Okay, guys, I hope this helped. Bye-bye, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>